everybody, welcome back to my channel, Grace and Ashes. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys using the brand Makeup Revolution. It is a complete first impressions. I have never tried Makeup Revolution before. My skin does not really react well to liquid foundations, but I've heard really good reviews about this particular makeup brand and especially about this foundation. So I wanted to give it a try. And while I was at Ulta, I decided to just go ahead and grab everything that I could that was in stock. That was Makeup Revolution to do a first impressions for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing how the makeup wears and what it looks like on my face, just keep watching. Before we get started, I wanted to say that I did order a ring light and it finally came in. So I am using that in this video. So let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if the lighting is right, if you can see my face, if you can see what I'm doing. This is only my third YouTube video that I've ever done before. So I'm still learning. This is a learning process for me. So let me know in the comment section what you want to see. All right, the first new tool that I am going to be using is this Real Techniques sponge. So this is going to be a trial and error. We'll see how this works. Anyway, it looks like this. I am in the shade F2. I'm very light, uh, but I did test this on my hand whenever I was in Ulta and it did oxidize on my skin. So it started off very light and then it did get darker as I went along. I do love the makeup applicator. I like that I can just put it on my face. And it does say on the packaging that this is a completely full coverage foundation. So I'm interested to test that out. The Mole Norman one that I typically use is not a full coverage foundation. So we're going to see how this works. And we're just stippling it onto our face using the sponge. I'm going to test to see if this is buildable. Now, the only thing that I currently have on my face is a moisturizer. I do not use a primer. Um, I just never have. I haven't had to do that with Moe Norman. So, we'll see how this works without a primer. So I think everything is blended in. I will say that Looking at it up close, it does look pretty full coverage. Um, I do have these areas on my face that I don't really want to be covered. And it matches my skin color perfectly, and that's really hard for me to find being fair skin. A lot of times it's too dark or it doesn't have the right undertone for me, but I think this is perfect. I'm going to move on to is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm the shade C1 in this particular tube. and. Just like the foundation, it does have a very, very nice applicator to it. So I'm just going to take this. Now, I am not a concealer girl. I do not wear concealer ever. Just because I don't really wear a foundation that really needs a concealer. My I'm just going to take this and I'm going to draw a V down. And we're just going to... Put this right underneath our eyes. Now again, I have never worn a concealer before, but I do know that it is supposed to brighten your under eye area, so we're going to see how that works. I'm also going to put some right here on my chin, and I'm going to put some right here on my forehead, and I'm also going to put a little bit right here because I have some spots showing up. For the concealer, if you're trying to use your sponge the correct way, it does say that you use the pointed tip for concealing. So I'm going to use the side of my sponge and we are just going to blend this in. And I'm going to make sure that I am stippling and not dragging. luxury baking powder this this is in the shade banana I'm hoping that it's not going to be too dark for me I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just dump a little bit out into the lid using your makeup sponge correctly or if you're wanting to use it just exactly as the package says the blending side is this round side so the same side I did with my foundation my concealer, I'm going to do the same thing with this powder. And what I'm gonna do is put the majority of the powder right here underneath my eyes. I'm gonna put it on my forehead. Everywhere that I put concealer, I'm gonna put the powder first. 
and then I'm going to just use what's left over on my sponge on the rest of my face. Now I'm going to take and blend all of this in. And again, I put the majority of this powder on the areas where I did concealer. And then I'm just using anything that's left over on the sponge on the rest of my face. I really want to make sure that I get my nose. My nose is that one area that always tends to break up on me even when I'm using a non-liquid foundation. So I really want to make sure that I get that particular area with a lot of powder. So on the packaging, it does say that it is a conceal and define. It does say it's a full coverage concealer and contour. I did pick it up in a darker shade as well to use as a contour. Now, I do not know if this is going to be dark enough for me to do a contour, but I didn't want to go too dark and then it not work for me. So this might be a little bit too light, but we're going to test it out. This is the shade C8. Normally what I do when I wear my contour is I go from about the top of my ear down to about the corner of my mouth. I don't bring it all the way in. You have a round face. Whenever you contour, instead of just going in to a straight line, you can also bring it down right here by your mouth a little bit and it's going to help shape and make your face not look so round. Now I'm going to take the flat edge and I'm going to contour out my face. Hopefully this is dark enough and I did get something in my hair over here. So hopefully we can get this to blend in. All right, I think I have this completely blended in now. It's definitely not the right shade for me for a contour shade at all. I definitely should have went a little bit darker but I will say that it, it applied very nicely and it blended out extremely well. It's just not quite dark enough for me. Oh, so. As an Ulta, I also picked up a Makeup Revolution eyebrow pencil. Now, I have never done my eyebrows. I am not really one that cares about my eyebrows, so I'm not sure if this is even the right color. Yep, but I did pick up the Duo Brow Definer. It is in medium brown. This is the packaging. This is what it looks like. So, we will see how this goes. <laughs> I think the color might be okay once I put my hair back down. I don't think it's going to look too bad. It's just, it's totally blowing my mind right now. Now I am going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. It looks like this with all of these wonderful colors. First, so I'm going to use this color right here to put into my transition area and this shade is MFEO. So I'm going to put this up higher on my eyelid. Now I do have slightly hooded eyes so if I was to put anything right in the crease you're not going to see it so I start everything up a little bit higher. False alarm. That is not the brush that I normally use to pack eyeshadow on. I normally use this blending brush and somehow I picked up the wrong one. So I'm going to use this one now and I'm going to really blend that out. I knew something wasn't right when I started. And I always do windshield wiper motions and then I will circle it as well to really blend that out. So I'm going to put it right here in that crease area and I want most of the pigment to be on the outer corner of my eye so I'm gonna wait until I have just very little left on my brush before I bring it all the way in. I'm going to switch from this light brush which is a little bit more fluffier it's really good for, for blending out your crease area and I'm now going to switch to this one this is also a blending brush but you can see that this one is a little bit skinnier, it's a little bit longer, so what it's going to do is it's really going to get in that area where I really want that most pigment, and I'm going to go in with a darker shade. So I'm going to go in with the shade that's a little bit darker and I'm only going to put this right here in the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to use the exact same shade 
that it gets on the top of my lid underneath as well. So I'm going to start off with the light shade first. So now I'm going to go in with the shade that I used all over my lid. trade brushes again and I'm going to go in with this brush and now I'm going to pick up a shimmer shade and now I'm going to go in with this shimmer shade right here. I'm going to just pack this all over my lid. Now I did not get much fallout from the other shades that I use but I will more than likely get fallout from this shade just because it is a shimmer. Now, this color is not coming off on camera as purple as it is in real life. So, if you do want to replicate this look, just know that it is a little bit more purple than what the camera is picking up. So, now I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to go over the outer corner and really blend everything together. Like I mentioned earlier, when I went into Ulta, they were out of a lot of stuff that was Makeup Revolution. So, I did not get a blush from them. I did pick up a highlighter, but they did not have any blushes in stock whatsoever. So I'm going to use a Morphe blush that I have. It, this is in the shade Spirit. To put this on using a Ego Tools brush. I got mine from Walmart. I normally use this for bronzer, so I get right here in my cheek with it. But today I'm going to use blush because. So now I'm going to go in with highlighter. I feel normal again. I got some color back in my face. And I did turn my light down one more. It's getting darker and darker outside and I feel like I got to keep my light going down and down. So let me know how the lighting is in this video so that way I can adjust it next time. Do you like this setting or do you like the brighter setting? Use a Makeup Revolution highlighter that I got. This is the, the Vivid Bait highlighter. And I'm just going to use a brush that I got in an Ipsy bag. Put this right here at the top of my cheekbone and I'm going to bring it up. So now we're going to go down our nose. Right, now I'm going to highlight my forehead just right here in between my eyebrows and up. I forgot to highlight my brow bone and I do want to highlight a little bit of my inner corner. So I'm going to get back to the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use the second shade in the palette. Before I put on my mascara, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Setting Spray. This is the Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. The directions on the back say, shake well before you use, apply makeup as usual. Hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from your face and spray a light mist, making sure your eyes are closed. Product will dry and set naturally. So, we will see how this works. It does have a smell to it, but it's not bad. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my mascara. I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I could not find a Makeup Revolution lipstick, so I'm not sure if they actually make them or not. So, I am just going to go in with a lipstick that I just have sitting here, and it is in, it is in Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Strip. It is a liquid lipstick, so it is going to dry down very matte. I will say that this is my least favorite lipstick of all of them that I have tried. It dries out my lips so quickly, and it like flakes off, and I cannot stand it. But it's what I have laying here, so we're going to wear it. This is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Comment down below any other makeup looks that you would like to see from me. I liked the brow pencil. I liked the foundation, I liked the powder, and I really like this sponge. I like the fact that I can use this for everything. The things that I did not like so far, the contour stick, really not a fan of that. And I'm not a really, not a big fan of the highlighter either, but it'll probably work out better on somebody else with not my skin tone. Let me know any other makeup looks that you would like to see. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all of my other socials as well. Instagram, Twitter. I am also on Facebook. Everything is at Grace and Ashes. So I will leave all of those links down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.